thrilled to have a celebrity in our midst. She has been in Forrest Gump, SNL, Seinfeld. Now she has a new film premiering right here in Nashville. Please welcome Siobhan Fallon Hogan. Hello, thank you for having me. Hello, Nashville. Yes. So said, excited to be here. I said right before this, hi, I'm Laura Schweizer. Now we ain't strangers no, anymore. No, we ain't you coming along, Laura. This is the bus of school. My movie's coming to Nashville, so we ain't strangers anymore. Are we? We are not. Thank you so <laughs> much for joining us. You're so welcome. You are the writer, you're the producer, you're the star of this film. Um, tell us about Shelter in Solitude and what it's all about. So Shelter in Solitude is a story of a man with only 10 days left to live on prison, on death row. And my character Val is a washed up country singer. Thus, we're in Nashville. She sang in Nashville once and that was about it. And so she's an egomaniac. She has a bar where she's the only show in town. It's supposed to be the very outskirts of Nashville, a very small town. And all she cares about is singing. Well, when COVID hits, she can't sing anymore. So without giving the story away, she guards the prisoner for the last 10 days of his life. And she's rough around the edges. She, has, she drinks too much. She was, she's a cougar wannabe, but no one will have her. And she's a a beautiful person with a lot of problems. Mm -hmm. So is her brother, Robert Patrick, mm -hmm. um, who plays the warden in it. You know, a lot of people know Robert from The Terminator. And Peter Macon, as you can see on your screen, is superb. He's like a young James Earl Jones. And it's this beautiful story. Sometimes you're laughing your head off, sometimes you're crying. But of three broken people who come together and they're so kind and they're so charitable towards one another. Mm -hmm. It's kind of where we need to be right now in America. We're so divided. It's just this story that's you know, as, as here we are as an independent, and we've been picked up by AMC and Regal for a huge release October 6th. Why was it important for you to tell this story? Because it has so much heart behind it. I'm one of five from a big Irish Catholic family, and my dad was hilarious, but he was tough, and he was a lawyer. And he uh, had a lot of clients that were prisoners, and he would come home and tell us about them. And so as a kid, whenever I drive by the local jail, or state penitentiaries, I think, what are they doing in there? Mm -hmm. And what are the prison guards like? And what are those relationships like? And then my dad also wanted me to be a country singer. So one night after I did my first movie, Rush, and I was ready to like take a big break and like relax, maybe go to a beach like normal people do, even though I can't go because I don't have the skin for it. And um, this idea came to me in the middle of the night. And I was like, what if there's these three people, these three broken people? By the way, it's directed by Vibeka Musaya from Denmark, and she did a great job. And we won the Boston International Film Festival, Best Actress, I won. And, um, <laughs> and we won Best Cinematography. Wow. Yeah. So we're going to be at the Bell Court. The reason we're in Nashville right. is because two of our singers, our writers of songs, are Nashville fabulous um, musicians, Justin Bill Tonin from Three Doors Down, and then we have Todd Cameron. And the, I recorded out here last year. My son is a producer and music supervisor on it. And my daughter's actually a production designer, Sinead. Um, but he brought me out here. My son brought me out here. And I met, I knew Justin Bill Tonin and Todd Cameron. I went to a sound studio. And I, I performed like I thought I was Loretta Lynn. <laughs> that is amazing stuff. I didn't know your father wanted you to be a country yes. singer. Well, you also say, I've said that, you know, faith, family, and friends, I've heard you say, has gotten you through hard times. Explain that. Absolutely. I think... Look, I'm lucky to be an actress, but it never goes to my head. I mean, there's people that do many, so many more important things, but my family's meant everything to me since the beginning. I have three kids now. Uh, my daughter's a journalist like you, my son Peter, uh, my daughter Sinead. My husband's also a producer on it. And, um, you know, prayer means a lot to us, and our faith means a lot to us. So I keep that in my films. Rushed and Shelter and Solitude are embedded with the faith, but uh, like I said, not perfect people. Mm -hmm. This is like people say, is this faith-based? Well, it is, but it's not gonna be the kind you, you recognize because my, I'm a lone, lonely single woman, drinking a little wine at night, <laughs> taking care of the prisoner in the day, trying to give him some love before he, has, he meets his maker or doesn't. Right. We don't know, really know what happens. I'm not gonna give it away. But I embed that because I think that's part of me. Mm -hmm. And I wanna spread the word for goodness kindness and charity and I put that in my films because that's what, that's what I, I, I think is important in life. Ugh, so beautiful. Now you have played so many different characters over the years. What makes this role so special? Well, because I wrote it and because my whole family is involved and also my first film rushed like so much of the crew is working on this again because I treat people the way I want to be treated when I'm on a set. So it's like a family. 
but this story is especially um, important to me because I feel this will give people hope. Mm -hmm. And I feel this is, you know, there's a lot of people in prison that shouldn't be in there. And, there's, and, and prison guards, they have hard daily lives. And I think it's so important that we're all God's children. We all make mistakes and stop, everybody stop judging each other mm -hmm. and everyone come together. And this story is also music. This is Nashville. This is all the elements of life, like music, dance. You know, we, we do some line dancing, um, humor. I mean, you're laughing. You're like, why am I laughing? This is like a rough situation. But anyway, and I just feel really grateful, especially for this one. Such a beautiful story. I can't wait to see the full film. And you can, tomorrow is the big premiere. Tomorrow's it's so the big exciting. premiere at the Bell Court. Patty Heaton's going to be there from Every Loves Raymond. We got a, a, so many Rob Banks and Fat Nick, the fabulous rappers, are going to be there. They're also in the film. They're great actors. Um, we have Peter Macon is coming up, who plays Jackson. And um, it's going to be amazing. And then if you have time, go on the AMC or the or the Regal YouTube channels, and our trailer has like over a million hits. What? Now, I wouldn't know a hit. I'm like, does that mean baseball? <laughs> I don't know. I'm a social media disaster, but it's very important. If you love this movie, Nashville, go out and spread the word, because this is going to show Nashville to be awesome, and we're going to be all over the place on Oct October 6th. That's right. Thank you so much. Thank you, you so, so much. You are so fabulous and talented. Thank you. The world premiere of Shelter and Solitude is happening at the Belcourt Theater tomorrow. Again, get your tickets online at belcourt.org under rental events.